Hi guys! This is Hannah Labago, Pabilonia. At today ay gagawa tayo ng pork asado siopaw. Let's go cooking! For the dough, we will need 3 teaspoon yeast, 2 teaspoon sugar, 8 ounces of warm water, then mix it together and let it rest for 10 minutes. Then after 10 minutes, this will be the result. In a dough or bread maker, put 4 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 fourth teaspoon salt, 2 teaspoon lard, 1 half cup sugar, 4 teaspoon baking powder, and 1 half cup powdered milk. Then add 5 teaspoon canola oil. Then turn on to start mixing. After a minute of mixing, add the yeast mixture. Then wait until it becomes a dough. Then let's check the dough, guys. When the texture becomes like this, then it's almost done. When the machine stops, then it's done. Transfer it to a greased bowl, cover, and let it rise for one and a half hours. While we are waiting for the dough to rise, let's make the asado filling. First, boiled one kilo pork with star anise and dried mushroom until tender. Then shred the cooked pork like this. Dilute 2 tablespoons cornstarch in 4 cup water. In a cooking pan, add the lard and saute the garlic and the onion. Then add the soy sauce, hoisin sauce. Oyster sauce and the pork stock. Add also the sugar, the star anise, and cover, then let it simmer. Then add the shredded pork and mix it or stir it until it is well incorporated. Cover and let it simmer for a couple of minutes. Then add the diluted cornstarch to thicken the filling. Add the pepper, stir, and it's done. Now that the filling is ready, set it aside and let it cool. After one and a half hours, let's check the dough, guys. Now, guys, makikita nyo na nag-rise na ang dough at nag-double na ang size. Now, push it down to remove the air bubble inside. Then, sanin lang natin sa clean surface and then flatten the dough and roll it to make it long. Then guys, ikat lang natin siya in half and then divide natin and cut it into small equal pieces. Yan guys, tapos na natin siyang makat lahat. Now guys, let's make a small bowl like this by pulling it from top and tuck it under and roll it into a palm. Let's make another one, guys! Now, guys, ready na ang ating dough for the fillings. In putting the fillings, 
flatten first the dough and leave the center a bit bulky. Now guys, let's put the pork filling and then fold the side of the dough and close it like this. Then put the parchment paper under the chapel. Let's try again guys. Lagyan natin ng filling at dough at i-fold lang natin ng tabi ng dough at i-close natin. Katulad nito, unroll lang natin gently ang tabi para magandang tingnan. Then, lagay natin sa parchment paper. Then, cover the filled bands or shopaw and let it rise for another 30 to 45 minutes before cooking in a steamer. Cook shopao by boiling a water in a steamer. Then put a greased parchment paper and arrange the shopao. Then steam natin for 13 to 15 minutes. Guys, pwede nyo rin lagyan ng mga 2 tablespoon ng vinegar ang intubig. Pagu iluto ang shopao para mas maputi ang bands pag ito ay naluto. Yan guys! After 13 minutes ay luto na ang shopao. Ngayon naman guys ay gawin natin ang shopao sauce. Sa isang pan ay magsote tayo ng 2 cloves of garlic. 1 4 cup diced or minced onion. Then add 3 tablespoons soy sauce, then stir. Add 3 cups of water, 2 beef cubes, 3 star anise, 1 half teaspoon 5 spice powder, 1 4 teaspoon pepper, Add also 1 half cup brown sugar, 3 tablespoon oyster sauce, stir and let it simmer. Then add the diluted cornstarch and stir. When the, when the sauce thickens, add the chopped red pepper. It's only optional guys. And when the sauce thickens like this, then it's done. And it's ready to serve. Pakinggan natin guys ang sabi ni Mister. From the siopal, we're gonna stick on the side and just press, and that'll be good. So now we're gonna start opening and what it look like. Wow, see how that really hot and tastes really good. Here's the finished product guys. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification button for future videos. Thank you for watching.